everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Apple and for today, we'll be doing another skincare video. This time, we'll be talking about the Gua Sha and the Rose Quartz Roller. If you want to know more about these and what are their effects, just keep on watching. Alright, so let's proceed with my routine and the first thing that I do is spray my face with a rose toner. A rose toner helps me hydrate my skin and the one I'm using is from Pacific. Now, this one is not in the original packaging because I keep this in the refrigerator so it will get much colder and I do like my toner to be a little bit more cold than normal so that's why it is in this type of spray bottle so I'm just going to be spraying my face right now my skin is completely clean there's nothing on my face except for lip tint and I do have less extension and that is basically it so start with a clean face just bare Alright, so after spraying your face with toner, this is how your skin would look like and we're going to go straight with the rose quartz roller right here. The top is larger and the small uh, part is located here. This is intended for other areas that you can't reach with the larger roll and it's imperative that this area will be also sprayed with toner just because it starts from here. When you use your rose quartz roller, make sure that you drain your lymph from the neck down because if you completely do your routine onto your face and there's nowhere for your limb to go it's just going to be nonsensical so we're going to start with that and what I do is I lean a little bit in this direction and I start from here and then I roll it down you don't need to press you just have to roll it gently because that is enough pressure. So what I do is I do that for 10 times. This area right here has a lot of lymph nodes. You can do this in the morning time and in the daytime. I basically have no time in the morning so I do this at night. And this gives my face a little bit of a glow. And Alright, so after clearing off this area of your neck, we're going to be going straight to your face. And I usually start at this area. And when you roll your jade roller or your rose quartz roller, make sure you're not going back and forth because that would forfeit its purpose of you draining the lymph off your face. Rather, it's better for you to just place it in one area and roll as you go. Again, I'm not applying any pressure with this one. And I do it 10 times. want it colder you can actually put this in the fridge but the temperature is good enough for me so I don't do that and then next I go from here and then upwards if you don't have a toner and you have a serum that you want to use that is also good to use this together with the roller Then we're going to go with the forehead. Alright, so this is my face after completely absorbing the toner. Now we're going to proceed with a serum. This is the one I use. And you can actually use any serum that you want. My forehead there and my chin area. And then I apply. Now 
Now we're going to proceed with the smaller tip of your jade roller or your rose quartz roller and I'm going to be starting with this area. Then we're going to go over. This relaxes my eye a lot. Ten. Now if you would see this has more of a lifted effect, now I'm going to try to do the same. Just so I can lift my eye area. Alright, so I feel that this areas or my inner cantos are more aligned to each other right after using this. No, no, I go to this area right here because this have the most tense muscle that I have and that is because of the nature of my work and I just go one, two, three, four, five. I want to press this area and then one, two, three, four, five. Then here for a few seconds. Here for another second. This actually helps slim down my face by a lot. And when there are days that I feel that my face is slightly puffier, I go for this one. And for an extra boost, I put it in the refrigerator just because I want to close down my pores. Now for the gua sha, I don't really use it a lot. But there are days that I feel that I am much more um, rounder than normal. That's what I. This is what I use to relieve that. So I start from the middle using that groove of your gua sha and then... see it on the screen this area is much more lifted than this area so we're going to try to even that out there I feel it's more you know this direction it's smoother it's slimmer and then I go towards this direction and then pull it up. One, two, three, four, five. Much more lifted in this area. I don't know if you can tell, but I can definitely see that. And then I go five this time. it for five seconds and that area for five seconds as well all right so that is my entire routine with the gua sha and the jade roller or the rose quartz roller and as you can tell my face has definitely gone down slimmer than before we started with this video i don't know if you can see that but i can definitely tell and when i use this i can feel that my muscles are much relaxed that my skin is much more brighter and bouncier and i could feel that my face was massaged throughout the time that i was using it now this doesn't take a lot of your time you only need about 10 minutes and you can do it while watching tv and if you want an extra boost you just can put it in the refrigerator and it would feel much more colder than normal now after this you can actually clean this now um, I don't use a um, an alcohol toner or wash it with water you don't need to do that what you need to do is get a um, cotton pad and then a spray or water spray and then you clean it because there are products that are going to be um, adhering to this part and it's going to feel very nasty and gunky and grimy afterwards so you and that is it for the review of this rose quartz roller and the gua sha I hope you like it if you do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel I'll see you again next time till then stay pretty bye